G'day and welcome to Ducks Ollie Gaming and a course play tutorial and preview. Yes, it's a tutorial and preview wrapped up in one. We are looking at the latest version of the developer version of course play, uh, which is 5.02.08000 or 00080. Anyway, doesn't matter. What we are looking at particularly is um, something that will be quite beneficial to many people out there that just get that little bit confused in setting up course play and their courses and all that sort of stuff. So what we'll do is we'll head on down to one of the fields with uh, a combine and we'll get started straight away. So we'll be right back. Okay, so here we are. We're down at field 86 and we've got our uh, class combine ready to go. We're going to do a bit of a corn harvest. So what we're going to do is we're going to head in and set up our course. Now, course play itself, there's not much that's changed with all the basic stuff here. We're going to set up to do a bit of field work. Um, there's no course preload, which is in the managed courses area here. We don't need to worry about any of these settings or anything through here. All we're going to do is we're going to come straight up here to the course generation area. Now, all this stuff in here is, is as per the last couple of builds. Um, things like the Bypass Islands, which is a relatively new addition. That's there. Multiple tools, which we'll get to a little bit later. We'll, it sort of has an impact with this as well. Um, and all that sort of stuff. So you, you would do that normally. What is new is this button here, the Advanced Course Generator Settings. So what we're going to do is we're going to head in there, and it brings up this. Now, what have we got here? Now, this gives you the ability to set up from that previous page what you would do there but with a more graphical interface a, a nice little GUI so I can do one of two things I can either select the field here by clicking through or I could actually um, click on the the map now the problem is once I've done that I can't go back to the, the zoomed out view at the moment so hopefully there's something they, they fix but we're gonna go to field 86 which is where we're at there we are so our combine is sitting here at the entrance. Um, we then can go through and set up all our options. So we can set a headland up. We're going to have a headland. We're going to do two passes. We're going to set it from our current vehicle position. Our starting direction, well, we don't really care. Um, it'll be automatic, but we want it to send. We want it to send it clockwise, so we keep our pipe on the outer side of our headland. Bypass Islands, we haven't got anything to bypass in here, so that's okay. Headland Corners, we can do either smooth or turn. Uh, for this one, we might just do turn. Skip Rows. Now, what Skip Rows will do, in fact, I'll show you here in a second, but it will basically mean you'll do two passes when you're doing your north-south or east-west runs, um, but we'll, we'll come to that in a second. All right, so now if I go Generate Field Course... And there we go. So it shows you the field course that's generated. So it's going to do three headlands. And then it's going to come back through, comes down here, and starts doing north-south runs. Okay, fantastic. Now, I can change that. If I'm not sure, I, okay, I don't quite like that. I want to do five headlands. Okay, I'm going to generate my course. And there you go. It automatically adjusts it, gets it all up and running. So you don't have to go through... Stop, drop the course out, all that sort of stuff. You can just go through and do this. And you visually straight away get the idea of what you're going to be looking at. Now, if I bring this back to two headlands and we start talking about the skip row. So we'll generate that. And there we go. So we're going to do the two headlands and then we do a nice north-south, well, virtually a north-south run. Now, if I go skip rows of one, that will do two, so it's more even. No, we won't. We'll do one. Sorry. All right. Now, if I generate this field course, so what you can see is it does an extra set of runs up. So it'll do its headland, and then it'll go up, but as it's doing its north-south runs, it skips a row each time. And then it will come back and do, do those other rows on the way back. So effectively, it's still covering all the field, but it's not doing them all in one go, so it's not going right next to adjacent, the adjacent run every time. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, I don't know. There may be perfectly good reasons for doing it sometimes. Um, but you can even do up to three. And I mean, so you've got plenty of new options here, which is great. So we'll take that back off. We don't want to do that. All right. So that's that's great. So that's how that all works, which is fantastic. Now, you can either have the headland around or you can have a narrow field. So if we've got a narrow field, we'll generate the course. Okay. Um, basically, what that will do 
is when you have got a narrow field and you don't really want to have to worry about you do a headlands and you've got to try and get in and fill a couple of areas. If you run the narrow field, it will basically just run headlands all the way through and then bring them all into the center. So that's another option as well, which is fantastic. Um, the other option is no headlands, obviously, and then we can generate the course and there we go. All right. So this is a fantastic addition and I'm really looking forward to this actually coming live and everyone else being able to use it. All right. So I press OK. And our course is now set. So bring up there. There's our course. It's ready to go. All right. Not so happy with that. So let's get out of that one. We'll go back in here again. And we can do it all again, which is fine. So we go back in the zoomed out area. What we will do, though, this time is we'll set up multiple tools. So we'll set up three tools. OK, so we're going to use three combines. Now, instead of actually doing it through here, going through here again, field 86, headland, we want to do a narrow field. So we'll do the narrow field. So we remember we've seen exactly what look, that looked like a, a second ago. So now if we generate the field course, notice how wide it is. So it's made the allowance for the three combines to do all the, the work. So but you've just got to make sure that once you do set this course up, um, you do have to set your multiple tools prior to coming into the into the course advanced course generator. OK. Um, so if we go back in here and we look at, let's have a look at what's a bigger field. Let's say for field 39, all right? So we're gonna go field 39. We're going to do headlands and we're gonna do two headland pass. Uh, now I think we've still got the multiples selected. Maybe not. Yes, we have still got the multiples connected, selected. So we go 39. You write the field course again without changing anything. And there it is. So it this is fantastic. It makes it so much easier. Now, um, like I said, remember it could be it could have some bugs in it. It is under development. To get this version of course play, you do need to go to the course play GitHub and download it from the from the GitHub repository. It is very easy to do. If you go to the course play website uh, which there will be a link in the comments down below uh, and you follow the installation directors direct directions on that website it will then um, tell you how to set this up and you can download directly the developer version latest developer version from the website without having to go in the github itself but that is the upcoming advanced course generator settings i hope you enjoyed it uh, I think it's going to be a fantastic addition to what is already a fantastic mod. Um, so, yeah, there it is. So jump on out, go grab Courseplay, and uh, and give it a test run. Now, if you liked the episode, please press the like button. If you didn't, that's okay. And please consider subscribing to Ducks All E Gaming. We'd love to have you join us for more tutorials, more gameplay, and all that sort of stuff. Anyway, this is Duxoil at Duxoil Gaming, hoping you enjoyed our advanced course generator settings tutorial and review for course play. And we shall see you again very, very soon back here at Duxoil Gaming. Thanks very much for watching. See you later. Bye.